Please welcome your host of the 24th Annual IGF Awards, Kelly Wallach. Oh, oh my God, we're all here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So many profound things have happened since we were all last gathered here in 2019. Um, I wouldn't even know how to start addressing it all. Uh, and it also feels as if so many people have said so many important and insightful things that I'm not sure what I would add to the conversation at this point. Uh, and for me, I feel like what I felt to be lacking the most was just joy and fun. It was hard to come by. It was hard to feel good even when you were in it. Uh, just because of how traumatic and terrible of a time we're all collectively living through. And as someone who's experienced living through trauma prior to the pandemic, I understand the feelings of guilt and shame and even fear that comes with feeling joy and peace when it looks like the world is crumbling apart right in front of you. But it's important to experience all of life, um, and that means everything. Uh, and that's what games are able to bring to so many people during this time. It was joy, it was community, it was happiness, and it was even healing. And as we make and create those experiences for others, we need to remember that it's also important for ourselves to experience that. So in that spirit, I want to acknowledge that it's all kind of a shit show right now, but... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but for tonight, let's celebrate Let's hold some joy and let's experience and really appreciate that we have this opportunity to be here right now doing something that at one time seemed so mundane and at others like an impossible feat. So we gathered, we celebrated, and we had some fun, so let's do it. <laughs> Uh, so first, I want to give a big shout out to everyone who helped keep the spirit of the IGF alive during this time. All of the staff, the QA team, the judges, the jury members, the developers who are making amazing and really heartfelt work. Uh, and also a big thank you to the sponsors who help us, uh, help us keep the lights on. So our IGF Platinum sponsor, ID at Xbox. The IGF Gold sponsors, Intel and Mudstack. And our IGF Silver sponsors, Iron Source and Gamera Game. All right, so let's get started. Uh, so I'm constantly amazed by the new generation of creators, with many colleges now offering game design specific programs, a wealth of information and tutorials available online, incubators, thriving communities. It's crazy impressive what and how students are able to build and create now. Reminds me of my time as a student where I was a disaster of a person studying to be a serious scientist instead of pursuing what I obviously wanted, which was to never have a boss, and to stand up on stage here and introduce all of you lovely people to some amazing games. Ah, uh, memories. <laughs> I wouldn't have dreamed as big and creatively as the students today are, and for that, we should all be proud of the past that we've helped pay for the next generation of creators. So, now we celebrate you, the students who walk the path to the future. Best student game. Kai Kai Balo. Developed by Lookup Games. Cicel Morel Dargis. Pali de Moscou, a mulher joga na cara. Patricia vem pra Rocinha, tá pro trem do. Pali de Moscou, o trem pega a bola do Patricia. Abris. Build to destroy. Developed by Randwerk. Till Freitag. Johannes Knob. Friedrich Bayer.
Letter Lattice, developed by Ethan Zerov. Small Life, developed by Yu Chi Wu. Nine Eyes Recipe Developed by Fan Fang and Mai Ho Live Adventure Developed by the Live Adventure Team IGF award for best student game is Live Adventure. <laughs> I made a text, so I'm not screening screen anything. Uh, so uh, yeah, thank you very much for this award. Uh, it means a lot to us. Um, it was a huge bet to make a game out of these concepts and uh, so much unknown areas to test and explore. Whew. And adding to all of that, the COVID situation. So, uh, so yeah, uh, but it's well, it's worth it. Now it's just amazing to see how far we we come. So uh, I'm so proud of all my teammates here and those who aren't here. So Alice, Maxence, Pierrick, Eugène, Ariana, Carmina, Andrew, and Messi. Thank you for for your hard work and your support. Thank you and a huge thanks to also to to our teachers, to, to our family and friends for their support back in France. Um, uh, well, you're all truly amazing. You need to know that. And I cannot wait to work with you all in the future. Again, amazing projects. So thank you. Thank you very much. All right, uh, so I thought I'd use this time to tell everyone my totally cool game design idea, because I know the designer's favorite thing is to hear unsolicited feedback and to get pitch game ideas at random moments. Plus, we all know that the hardest part of game design is the idea, right? It has nothing to do with the execution, the iteration, the endless playtesting, the balancing, the polish, and not to mention actually finishing the thing. That's easy. It's the ideas. That's totally where it's at. So I have this great idea about these, like, plumbers and their brothers, maybe they're Italian, um, but they're also trapped in this like magical world and they're fighting like turtles and mushrooms and then this one time they eat a leaf and they turn into like a flying raccoon. Yeah, I think it's a cool idea. I really think it's gonna take off. <laughs> so these other people have had some cool ideas too, so let's give them a chance. Excellence in design. Inscription. Developed by Daniel Mullins Games. Daniel Mullins. Unpacking. Developed by Witchbeam. Tim Dawson. Ren Dreyer. Overboard. 
developed by Inkel. John Ingold, Tom Kale, Joseph Humphrey, Anastasia Wyatt. Strange Horticulture, developed by Bad Viking. Rob Donkin, John Donkin. Webbed, developed by Spug Games. Riley Neville, Noah Seymour. Midnight Protocol, developed by Sam Achten. Kasper Adriansen, Kevin Haldeman, Tom Lissens. And the Excellence in Design Award goes to Inscription. I will now thank uh, huge thanks to the people who helped me make Inscription, Jonah, David, Kevin, and Tawny, and the 3D artists who crafted all the little bits. Thanks to the localization team. Thank you to the Discord moderators who do their best to keep DM Games' server under control. Thanks to the beta testers who played the shitty version of the game for months before it was done. Uh, thanks to Devolver for a top-notch publishing job. Thanks to my partner, Tasha, for supporting me. Thanks to my parents for asking when the game would be done every weekend. And if you played it, thank you for playing. All right, uh, game art can be such a beautiful expression that comes in all shapes and forms, uh, especially on the indie side, where innovative art styles and trends are born and followed and inspiring to so many people. It feels like an endless fountain of innovation and creativity. So just in case I'm putting it out there, if anyone is looking for an art style that screams, hey, I haven't drawn anything in 20 years and I don't understand how tablets work, here's my portfolio. So first up, we have my cat. Her name is Alice, she's 18 years old. <laughs> you may have heard her on all the Zoom calls in the last two years. <laughs> all right, here's GDC. So that's all of us being at GDC. <laughs> here's my uh, West of Loathing uh, fan art. <laughs> <laughs> and here's the crew of the Star Trek Enterprise. <laughs> so just putting it out there, in case anyone's looking. Um, so now let's take a look at the folks who actually know what they're doing. <laughs> Excellence in visual art. The Eternal Cylinder, developed by the ACE team. Carlos Bordeo, Imundo Bordeo, Andres Bordeo. Danielle and Tower. Behind the Frame. Developed by Silver Lining Studio. Wei Chen Lin. Papatura. Developed by Patoons. Tomas Ostafin. Tomas de Bojac, Iran Ravats. Fuzz Dungeon, developed by Jeremy Couillard. The Wild at Heart, developed by Moonlight Kids. Justin Baldwin. Chris Sumsky, Unkit Trevetti, Alex Kincaid. Jet, The Far Shore, developed by Super Brothers and Pine Scented, Sam Bradley, Flaminia Grimaldi, Dustin Harbin. Okay, and the winner for the IGF Award for Excellence in Visual Art is... Pepitura.
So the team couldn't be here today, but they sent us a very lovely video to say thank you. I think so. There we go. Hi, everyone. This is Tomasz Ustafin, creator of Papetura. Uh, sorry I couldn't make it to San Francisco. It has always been my dream to be a part of IGF festival. And a few years ago, it was even funny to think about it. Um, if you hear this, then I've won a visual art category, which is unbelievable. Uh, in that case, I would like to thank uh, Tomasz Dvořák, uh, creator of music, and Juraj Mravitz, uh, creator of sound effects, and all of the people that helped me even a little bit along the way uh, by spreading the word or, or liking the post. Um, thank you AGF for this award and wish you all the best. Bye. So what makes great game audio? An artful and thoughtful integration of sound, music, and voice woven together to bring feeling and depth to the player experience. Without it, your favorite games and powerful moments just wouldn't have the same impact, would they? In fact, take this category intro. Wouldn't this be so much better with some game audio? So what makes great game audio? An artful and thoughtful integration of sound, music, and voice, woven together to bring feeling and depth to the player experience. Without it, your favorite games and powerful moments just wouldn't have the same impact, would they? In fact, take this category intro. Wouldn't this be so much better with some game audio? Here are the nominees. Excellence in audio. Poem. Developed by Something We Made. Joost Kreinbrink. Jamal Green. Marcus Nielsen. Victor Aidhagen. Unpacking. Developed by Witchbeam. Jeff Van Dyke. Angela Van Dyke. Ella Van Dyke. Jet, The Far Shore. Developed by Super Brothers and Pine Scented. Scientific. A shell in the pit. Priscilla Snow. Mini Motorways. Developed by Dinosaur Polo Club. Disaster Peace. Sable. Developed by Shedworks. Japanese Breakfast. Martin Cavalli. Inscription. Developed by Daniel Mullins Games. Jonah Senzel. And the award for excellence in audio goes to Inscription. Oh, this means so much. Uh, I'm a one-man audio team, and it just feels like the biggest hug ever from the everyone community. Oh, wait, I have, I have my, my list. Uh, I want to thank my mom and dad and my brother Noah for their endless support. Uh, Dan, of course, he made the game, I guess. And that's probably cool, too. Uh, all my music teachers throughout the year are so important. Demetrius, Natalie, Sid would not be here without incredible uh, educators. And uh, also, all the other nominations the uh, nominees just for pushing the medium. I think for me, the nomination is the, the thing that counted most. I guess this is all right, but like, it's about the little bit of recognition and uh, everyone here is just like pushing forward the game audio so much and that's really what counts at the end of the day. 
Thank you so much. Okay, I had a hard time writing this one because honestly, this is my favorite category. Uh, my personal motto is more weird games made by weird people. Uh, and nothing exemplifies that sentiment better than the Nuovo category. There's nothing better than opening a new game and getting into it and thinking, oh my god, I had no idea that games were even allowed to do this. From mind-bending experiences to subversive commentary, this category to me is a peek inside of the brain of the coolest, weirdest, creative minds the industry has to offer. So this is my little love letter to you, fellow weird people. Please don't ever stop, because your audience is out here, and we think that you make the game's world a better place. So let's take a look at the nominees. Nuovo Award. Memory Card. Developed by Lily Zone. Zoe Sparks. Patricia and Saturnia's Bureaucratic Adventures, developed by Outlands. Fantasia Malware. Spacehole 2020, developed by Sam Atlas. Saint Sela. Tux and Fanny, developed by Ghost Time Games. Albert Burney, Gabrielle Koenig. Cruelty Squad, developed by Consumer Soft Products. Sparkles and Gems, developed by Resne Jars. Fuzz Dungeon, developed by Jeremy Couillard. Cookie, developed by Fantastico Studio. Julian Palacios, Andrea Valassini, Alessandro Kuki. All right, and the winner of the Novo Award is Memory Card. team couldn't be here tonight, but they sent us an acceptance message. Dave. Greetings. Greetings to all. From astride my beautiful feline steed, Dave. I am very proud to accept the millionth award that I, Ultra Power Horse, have ever received. Yay. I am sure you are all as pleased as I to witness this historic occasion. Yay. Thank you, and I bid you adieu. things on the internet is AI generated content. It's silly, it's nonsensical, and it reminds me that we have plenty of time until the robots are all going to take our jobs. And to prove a point, I've let an AI write the rest of this intro. So what we talk about in the game is narrative. Narrative is narrative because narrative tells you what is going on in your life in the moment. Narrative is narrative because narrative is narrative. And narrative is narrative because narrative tells you the story about the characters that play an important role in your life. But they also tell you what happened. Narrative can be very tricky for a game to tell, and it is certainly a challenging thing to work through through a game. The story in the game is narrative. The story is my narrative. My narrative is narrative. Narrative. Is, it, is the game a personal exercise, or is it? Yeah, so I think we're good. <laughs> 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 so.
So let's all appreciate the humanity that goes into a great narrative game with our nominees. Excellence in narrative. Last Call. Developed by Nina Freeman and Jake Jeffries. Neurocracy. Developed by Playthrough Lines. Closed Hands. Developed by Passenger Games. Dan Het. Dan Whitehead. Sharon Dalawal. Uma Detta. Overboard. Developed by Inkle. John Ingold. Tom Kale. Anastasia Wyatt. Joseph Humphrey. Inscription. Developed by Daniel Mullins Games. Daniel Mullins. Unpacking. Developed by Witchbeam, Ren Breyer, Tim Dawson, Annie Vandermeer. All right, and the Excellence and Narrative Award goes to. Oh, these are so hard to open. Inscription. <laughs> Sorry, this feels kind of wrong, but um, um, okay, so I had two speeches, and so I have a second one ready. Um, uh, so I thought there was a chance I might win one, but I didn't think there'd be two, but um, I have some bonus thanks. Uh, Cody, Tamara, Sean, and Daniel, to, to name all the 3D artists who helped me, uh, the people who contribute to sketchfab.com uh, for providing like so many free models for me. Uh, I would also like to go back and thank the fine people at Jetpack for giving my first job in the industry, people at Skybox Labs for encouraging me to work on my first game. Uh, I wanted to thank Mike Kasperzak for maintaining Ludum Dare, because I actually don't think I would be doing indie games if it wasn't for Ludum Dare. And um, I also wanted to thank the fan artists who do fan art for inscription, even the goat stuff. If you know, you know. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> And now to the audience awards, where we're going to select eight audience members. You can look underneath your chair for a number, and we're going to have you run through an obstacle course that's going to rely on the three pillars of RuPaul's Drag Race, which are uniqueness, nerve, and talent. Uh, and then also there's a game show at the end where you have to guess which of the items is actually a cake. The, winning of, the winner of this daring and dangerous feat will choose the winner of this category. Oh, wait. I think I was totally wrong about how this works. So sorry. <laughs> I don't actually organize this category, so I wasn't really sure how it worked. Uh, it turns out it's actually done by audience voting, and that has already happened, and the nominee with the most votes will win. Okay, fine. I guess that works, too. And the winner is... Mini Motorways. So the studio couldn't be here today. Um, I did all the audio for Mini Motorways, and I'm here to accept the award on their behalf. They, uh, they gave me a message to, uh, to say. On behalf of the team at Dinosaur Polo Club, we are so honored to have Mini Motorways recognized in this way by our amazing players and by the Independent Games Festival. The team wishes they could be here in person to celebrate this moment and to surprise them delighted to be the recipients of such an incredible award. We wouldn't be where we are today without our players and community. Their support and enthusiasm for Mini Motorways is the fuel that keeps our cities thriving 
and allows us to constantly make the game better and better. Lastly, a huge thank you to our team for their dedication to creating something we can all stand behind. The game is what it is because of your hard work. It means so much to us all to know that Mini Motorways holds a special place for our community. Thank you. Please give a warm IGF welcome to the winner of last year's Seamus McNally Grand Prize Award, Naftali Faulkner. So I, uh, I met Nigel Lowry today and he said, if I just say Inscription wins, he'll publish my next game. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. Every once in a while, a game comes along from the indie space which changes the entire industry. The indie space always informs the rest of the industry for the next decade. Be that a small Java game where you place blocks, an Armour 3 mod called Battle Royale, or a small shooter from the 90s about a space marine and his rabbit. Indies inform the rest of the industry, be this through innovative gameplay, a revolution of game design, or a social good pushed through the entire work. Tonight's winner will undoubtedly go on to inform the industry in no small way. And with that, the ideas will be passed on and it'll be something gam uh, gaming will become, uh, gaming will come to know. Here are the finalists for the Seamus McNally Grand Prize. Seamus McNally Grand Prize. Inscription. Developed by Daniel Mullins Games. Daniel Mullins. Jonah Senzel. David Hegman. Unpacking. Developed by Witchbeam. Ren Breyer. Tim Dawson. Jeff Van Dyke. Angus Doolan. Loot Hero, developed by Four Quarters. Dmitry Karamov, Alexander Gorslavitz, Alexander Vartazarian, Dmitry Labutov. The Eternal Cylinder, developed by the Ace Team. Carlos Borgeo, Andres Borgeo, Edmundo Borgeo, Daniel M. Pau. Cruelty Squad, developed by Consumer Soft Products. <laughs> Unsighted, developed by Fernanda Diaz and Tiani Pixel. Save them before it's too late. So, 2022, Seamus McNally, grand prize goes to... I'm getting a new game, Inscription! Uh, so I actually, like I wasn't kidding, I only had two speeches because I thought that was the absolute max that could be possible. Um, so I don't have to look at my phone, I can look you in the eye and say that Nigel, you're on the hook now, you gotta publish this guy's game. Um, but the other thing I didn't mention is that the other nominees are fantastic and just so great and to be among them is an honor, so thank you. Well, that was exciting. <laughs> uh, and as we bring the IGF Awards to a close, I'd like to take this time to reflect back on the last seven years of my time as the chair for the festival. Uh, when I first took this position, I was relatively new in the industry and felt so honored and honestly kind of overwhelmed. Uh, and in many ways, I still feel that way. Uh, I felt the weight of the responsibility, but also a lot of excitement about the potential. 
And in that time, I'm proud of the work that we did and the structural changes that we've implemented. And I felt that I've accomplished what I set out to do, and I wanted to announce that this was going to be my final year in the position. So. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to give someone else the opportunity that I had and to create space for the fresh ideas and changes that that brings with it. I've been super honored to hold this position and to witness the love and care that goes into the games that you all create and the passion in which you discuss and celebrate this part of the industry. So thank you all. Uh, thanks again to everyone who's participated in the IGF in whatever way that might have been while I was here. Um, yeah, just thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been super fun hosting as well, so thanks for asking me to do that. <laughs> um, so again, we want to give a big thank, uh, thank you to our sponsors this year. So the IGF at Platinum sponsor, IDEA Xbox, the IGF Gold sponsors, Intel and Mudstack, and the IGF Silver sponsors, Iron Source and Gamera Games. And a big congratulations to everyone that was nominated here tonight. And now I'm going to pass the stage over to Osama Dorias for the Game Developers Choice Awards. Thank you all so much.